hate me because I'm right. I'm not here to be liked. I never wanted to be liked. I wouldn't have said, I want the earth is flat if I was looking, to, if this was a popularity contest. Why would I say the earth is flat if I, if I wanted to be liked? It's more like an experiment to see how many people are possessed uh, with this dick-sized contest that they didn't come to this revelation. Your images of earth are paintings. They're CGI. It's not proof. There's still no real time, video, or film of the, your earth as a ball doing one, one day spin. A what? Just one day spinning. Just one day in real time, 24-7. I mean, even that. Forget the 7-11 uh, 24-7 camera surveillance on the planet from a distance where we could see it and watch how, how the entire thing operates scientifically. If I were to spend trillions of dollars on an agency, the most valuable, the most valuable result of all these technological endeavors and feats and innovations of sending equipment at high altitude at far distance from the Earth would be to have a camera watching the weather patterns as they really unfold on that real ball Earth model. We don't have that. Time's up. There's a serious fraud going on right now in every space agency worldwide. And it's time human beings turn off the TV, stop believing CGI, and ask yourself, how come we can't see the Earth in its total global form, as purported allegedly, through scientists, pundits, experts, for centuries, with the camera technology and aerospace technology of today, we cannot have 24-hour surveillance of the weather patterns at a distance forming in the skies of our Earth as a ball. They've stolen your money because that is so invaluable to studying the Earth if it's a ball that anything they've done anything. To be able to see the Earth from space and tap in any human being to see the weather clouds form over their town or their region or their state or their country during the night, lightning storms, all sorts of weather phenomenon to know how the tornado started, how the hurricane started, so we could all be privy and we could all know this transparent, open, scientific evidence of what happened in the sky today, you would think, you would imagine, somebody would say, excuse me, what if we had a camera watching the whole thing, we could study the earth or the globe? You'd think somebody, if I'm the first to ever ask that question, well then we are seriously asleep here. The scientific community is asleep, the elected officials or selected officials are lying to you or asleep. Look, there's two things going on here. Either I am like really above the genetic collective gene pool of this earth, or there's a fraud. Because for me to be the first to ask that question begs to differ my, my, my relation to the present human body. I don't think so. I think many have asked this question. There's nothing more invaluable, there's nothing more valuable than having 24 hour, 24 7 camera footage of the Earth spinning in space to monitor the weather activity, especially during what you say is climate chaos and crisis. Especially with the debate raging whether those clouds are being sprayed by unmarked white planes or those are real cloud fronts rolling in. You've gone up there, you built a space station, you sent out Hubble, you pointed the telescope the other way. We're not going there. We don't live there. We live here. Why didn't you turn around on this? 
Something's not right here. Something is seriously amiss here. In the human inquiry on all these space agencies who share the same red vector V insignia like the serpent's tongue in the NASA logo, it's in RASA, ESA, even Iran's space agency. They all share the same insignia here. Look, an alien invasion against a population of six billion beings with arms and legs and you know, innovative skills to build weaponry is not going to happen with saucers showing up like in a Hollywood movie. An alien invasion will be conducted over several decades, perhaps an entire century. First off, they will surround you. And the best way to surround you intergenerationally, so you don't get wind of it, so they can have an easy takeover, well, they tell you how much land there really is. Throw the picture of the globe, you don't go past a certain fence. It's too cold. The alien invasion has started, it is the globe. It is the false model of your creation of your world. And they are now using that image you've never seen, and I think they can continue to push it because they've been spraying you with lithium and nobody has a memory more than a month. Go ahead, ask them. What was a major tragedy that happened 30 days ago? Ask any human being. Watch how much time it takes. They won't even remember that mass gun shooting that happened last month. It's gone. Or that storm. Or that tornado. They won't. So... That camera footage of the Earth from space, being able to see it every hour, to see how the weather patterns form, is the most valuable thing that we could have gotten out of the space agency, the most achievable and possible thing, according to what they claim they've, they've done with, with taxpayers' money, with, with the technology they claim they have. You don't have a camera and a distance and a satellite communication to retrieve that, you know, with a 10 second delay. See, because my 10 second delay on this side of your globe, watching the tsunami, benefits in this time zone before the tsunami hits. No. There is no measurable curvature. The Earth is flat. 